On our workbench is an SU04G14. This is a 2023 model that wouldn't turn on. So this is based off of a Ryzen AMD Ryzen 9 6000 series. And this comes with a Radeon graphics. AMD Radeon graphics. We plug in our power or our charger. We press the power button. Press our power button and nothing happens. So we're gonna open the hood and see what's going on in there. With our screws out of the way, we're gonna pop out the back cover. And the next thing is to disconnect our battery. So with our battery out of the way, it's time to dig in onto this motherboard and see what's going on on this motherboard. Yeah. So now we're going to check voltage from our DC connector. DC connector. Read check voltage from the DC connector all the way to the current sensing resistor. So let's check for voltage on this DC connector. So what do we get? We get 20.15 volts. So there is voltage getting onto our charging connector here. So the voltage moves through this inductor here. So just follow how I'm tracing the signal here, okay, the voltage. So if you can see, so it comes from the charging connector and it comes through this inductor, which is kind of acting like a fuse inductor. It comes to the out, output side of it and then comes through here through capacitor then down to this first end channel MOSFET so this is the source of this MOSFET so the source of this MOSFET receives 20.16 volts 20.16 volts so this is supposed to cross from the, dra the drain side here to the source side here you're supposed to see 20 volts there but unfortunately, we're not seeing anything there. Zero volts. And it's supposed to come here and make it to the side here. Then, from this side, the source here, the source of this second inch channel MOSFET, to the drain side of it. Then, when it's able to make it to this point, then it will make it to the current sensing resistor, which is at the other side of this board. So, you are able to read 20 volts on that current sensing resistor and we know that our 20 volts is working on this motherboard but as you can see we're reading nothing here we're reading absolute zero so why would we be reading zero volts whilst we are getting 20 volts on the DC jack and then on the source of the first end channel atmosphere so what could what this could mean it could be two scenarios okay one, it could mean that there is a short circuit on the main 20 volt line. That is what's preventing the 20 volts from showing up. So, short circuit that is um, 19 volts is shorted to ground, or 20 volts is shorted to ground. So, in our case, 20 volts is shorted to ground, therefore, we're seeing nothing at the last or the drain side of the MOSFET or our charging chip isn't allowing these two end channel MOSFETs to what allow power to cross or allow 20 volts to cross so these are the two scenarios that can cause our 20 volts to be missing on this motherboard so what we'll do now is to want to test for short circuit or short to ground on the 20 volts line so we're going to test for short on the 20 volts line. So my meter is in resistance mode now. Resistance mode now. So let's take the charger out and then test for short circuit on the 20 volts real. Oh, and as you can see, we have zero ohms. So zero ohms. So this is a complete short ground on this 20 volts real. 
so there is a component on this line that is bringing all that 20 volt that is supposed to be produced is bringing it down to zero so it's connecting it to ground so that is a short circuit so a component on that line is bringing all our 20 volts 20 volts to ground so what we're going to do now is to inject some voltage onto this line all right so we're going to attach a jumper cable over here and then we look for the component that gets hot and then when we're able to identify that component getting hot then we fish it out or we bring it out of the circuit and that will solve our problem so after attaching our our jumper cable on the 90 on the 20 volts rail on the 20 volts rail and then looking for any overheating component came across that this this integrated MOSFET which is one of the eight core faces of the GPU was getting hot a little warm to the touch so all other cores all other sides were okay but this very side was getting a little warm so I'm gonna take it out of the circuit and let's see if we will get a change in our resistance reading so let's do that and see This is higher on the way. So now let's let's read for let's check for resistance reading again on the in front of that second N channel MOSFET. Let's check for resistance if you will see a change in our reading. So as you can see, we no more have a shot to ground on our 20 volts line. As you can see we are reading. 30, 40, 38, 40 kilo ohm. It's still increasing. Still increasing. So now our short circuit is gone. So our short component, our shorter component was this integrated MOSFET. This integrated MOSFET on this core side of the um, v, um, GPU side. So we're going to replace this component and then this laptop should be working fine again so now let's let's check for 20 volts uh, 20 volts and uh, 20 volts will let's check for 20 volts let's check for 20 volts oh i see a light i see a light are the source So, so we have 20 volts here and we have 20 volts here so we can see a noticeable change in our reading now after taking out our component a noticeable change after taking out our component so we have 20 volts now so our corporate component was this MOSFET this integrated MOSFET so we we'll just replace it and we have a working laptop and this will be a happy customer a happy customer as you can see after any votes so uh, this is now working a working laptop so let's reassemble this and then look let's see if you have a display on an image on our screen let's see if you can see that you will get a sign of relief Whoa! <laughs> so we have a working laptop. So that's an image on the screen. So this is a successfully repaired laptop. So this is the first G15 gaming laptop. As you can see, this is a 2013, 2023 models. As you can see, date over there. 2023 model 
these laptops are very expensive laptops so it will be a very serious heartbreak an intense heartbreak to have this laptop just die to have it just die like that so it is a working laptop it's working and thanks for watching and I hope you learned something over here um, comment ask your questions in the comment section like this video and subscribe because there are more contents like this coming up coming your way on this channel you're gonna have more contents like this very practical contents like this coming your way on this channel so don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you for watching and bye